Welcome back boys and girls. Tonight we're going to learn one of the probably most useful multiplication skills. Um, so our I can statement, read it with me. I can use the distributive property of multiplication to solve more difficult multiplication problems. So let's say the property again, it's the distributive property. So exactly what is the distributive property? Well, it's using facts you know to solve difficult problems. Okay, I said the distributive property would help you solve larger problems, but we're gonna start with a smaller one. Um, so I've got an array here, and it is um, a four by seven array. So I've got four here and seven here. So I know that this is four groups of seven. And even if you know what that is, we're going to pretend like you don't. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn it into an easier problem. Okay, so you can see that my array was color coded for a reason. I'm going to break it into two smaller arrays. So I have four by three and I have four by four. So if you watch with me, you'll notice that all I did was separate it vertically. So it was still four groups of, I just changed um, how many columns there were. So now I have, instead of four times seven, I have four times three, and I have four times four. So Let's uh, count by fours. We've been doing that. So um, four, eight, 12 is this answer. And if I go over here, four, eight, 12, 16. Now I'm going to add my answers together. So I'm going to add 12 plus 16. Six plus two is eight. One plus one is two. So my answer is 28, which if I counted up here, I would have gotten 28 too. You'll notice that three plus four equal my original seven. So the steps for this process was to break my array into two smaller problems that were easier to do and distribute the four across both of those problems. Let's do another example. Okay, let's try another example. So I have this array for you to look at. It is a six by nine array. So I have six groups of nine. I don't know how to count by sixes or nines yet. So I want to make this into a smaller problem. So I'm going to divide it into um, two and four. So now I have my, my nine stay the same. So now if I look at just this part, What's my multiplication problem for that? Two groups of nine. Okay, and then I have this part left. So what's my multiplication problem there? Four groups of, of nine. And then now those problems I can solve. I know how to count by twos. I know how to count by fours. So go ahead and solve those. Okay, two groups of nine is 18. And four groups of nine, I hope that you got 36. Okay, so now I need to put those numbers back together. So to do that, I'm going to add. So when I add 18 plus 36, eight plus six is 14, and three, four, five. So my answer is 54. So this time I distributed the nine across um, the two and four. And you'll know that two plus four equals six, which was part of my original problem. Okay, go ahead and draw this array out. It is four groups of nine. So I'm looking for four times nine. And I know we know how to count by um, fours, but we're gonna practice splitting it into an easier problem. 
This time you decide how you want to split the array and it really doesn't matter. You can split it vertically wherever you want. You can split it horizontally. Just be thinking about what number you want to make smaller. So in this case, the nine is the, the larger number, the one that's harder to multiply by. So maybe that's the number that you want to make smaller. So you're going to divide your array into two smaller problems, solve the smaller problems, and then add them together for the sum. Go ahead and pause the video and attempt it on your, on your own, and then I'm going to show you how I chose to do it. Okay, you may not choose to divide the array the same, time, the same way I did, but your answer should end up being the same. So I'm gonna do four groups of four and four groups of five. So I'm gonna have four times four, and I'm gonna have four times five. So I distributed the four, and then I broke the nine apart. And you can see that four plus five still equals nine. So four times four is 16, four times five is 20, and then I'm gonna add these together. So six, two plus one is 36. So, or two plus one is three. My answer is 36. So I hope that you got 36 as your answer too. Okay, now for the part from the I can statement where we're gonna try to use this method, the distributive method, to um, solve much bigger problems. So here's a big one, three, um, three groups of 13. Okay, so go ahead and draw it out. I know it's a big one, but go ahead and do it, and we're gonna practice dividing it. Okay, I can really divide it anywhere, but I'm gonna use that knowledge that I learned um, earlier about multiplying by a 10. So I'm gonna choose to divide it right here. So I'm gonna have three groups of 10, and I'm gonna have three groups of three. Um, and I'm gonna do those two problems. So you'll notice right here's where I still have 13, I've just broken it into two parts. So I'm gonna solve these problems. Three groups of 10 is 30, and three groups of three, three, six, nine is nine, and then I'm gonna add those two together, and my answer is 39. Okay, let's try some examples where we don't have the array. So I have five times 18, five groups of 18, that's a really big problem. I I don't really want to count by fives all the way to 18. So we're going to take the 18 and we're going to we're going to break it apart. So be thinking in your head what things equal 18. For me, I'm always going to pull the 10 out because I can multiply 10 by 10 really easy. So if I divide the if I pull the 10 out, I'm going to have 5 times 10 and then I'm going to have 5 times 8. So remember, these always are going to equal that number I'm splitting up, so those equal 18. And then this is going to be the number that I'm distributing across those. So I'm going to do 5 times 10, so that is 50, because remember it's 5 times 1 and then I add my 0. And then I'm going to do 5 times 8, so count by 5, it's 8 times. You should get 40. And then I'm going to add those together. So my answer is 90. So five groups of 18 equal 90. Okay, here's a couple examples for you to try on your own. So remember, we're splitting this number apart, um, and then we're gonna distribute the first factor across it to get our product. See if you can do these on your own and then come back to check. Okay, here are my answers. I'm gonna walk you through them. I did four groups of 10. So I split that 17 into 10 and seven. Four groups of 10 is 40. Four groups of seven is 28. 40 plus 28 is 68. So four times 17 is 68. Um, for three times 19, I, had, uh, I split 19 into 10 and nine, and I got um, three groups of 10 is 30, and three groups of nine is 27. I added those together and I got 57. Okay, last two examples. Go ahead and pause the video and use the distributive property to solve these problems and then come back to check. Okay, I hope that you got those answers right. Um, if you 
need some more practice, of course, ask mom and dad. We're going to do lots more work with this, and we're going to even do um, much bigger problems. So I'm looking forward to digging deeper into this skill with you um, in the next couple days. Uh, time for the end of our video, and of course, the long-awaited joke of the night. So here it is. Why did the birdie go to the hospital? Dun, dun, dun. To get a tweet mint. <laughs> okay, I will see you in class. Thanks for working so hard today. Um, I'm proud of your math skills. You're all becoming such great mathematicians. See you in class.